You know, Kurt's a guy on this channel that's not going to get, uh, I would say, a lot of mercy from all of our viewers out there. We have a lot of Call of Duty fans out there where Kurt was uh, in the news quite frequently for calling out some of the most notorious uh, in that scene. We do have some Fortnite viewers. Kurt's also taking his time to call out people like Ninja. I would say maybe rightfully so in that case. And EA themselves have actually taken action against this man before, actually banned him from FIFA Ultimate Team or foot tourneys throughout 2020 at the competitive season. And again, I think they had more reasoning there, but this, this current case is something that should not be happening. Now, we don't know the full details as of right now, but Kurt taking to Twitter this past weekend. EA is now going after him, copyright striking not only his streams, but also his YouTube videos. And I think a lot of viewers out there are going to know the ways that EA runs things across the board. They have a lot of great things and a lot of not so great things. This certainly to me at face value cannot be a thing we let happen and we let slide. We've seen Epic Games and other big companies out there target YouTubers and content creators for the right reasons, right? Epic Games have done it with a lot of Fortnite creators who actually promote some illegal sites or try and sell skins or uh, promote sites that buy and sell skins. That's okay. They've actually struck down a few gigantic YouTubers who have tried to scam their audiences. We also have other uh, instances like Activision and, and Blizzard. They actually go after content creators who leak things. Activision as recently has actually copyright struck some YouTube channels who leak things that are not released yet and albeit that's in their right and I would say rightfully so. Now we have EA supposedly copyright striking a man on several platforms because he tried to call out their game and that some of their employees will get into details about that and what I see for face value what we know right now this, we cannot let this slide. This supposedly following a video of Kurt where he tries to call out EA employees, something he has done in the past, although a few members who actually watched that video before it got deleted did say all the information he presented was already public information. If any of you guys do remember the first time we covered Kurt as well when he was, um, you know, shortly after their ban by EA from uh, Foot Competitive, it was because he was spitting on their logo and doing the like of calling out EA employees as well. Uh, this video has now been taken down, so I'm not sure what deal details were actually revealed, albeit that sounds Sounds terrible, but if they are public figures, what he did in this video, trashing the game and the employees that made some changes that maybe they shouldn't have, that should not be against, you know, the, the likes of free speech on both platforms. He has now been struck both on YouTube and on Twitch for several videos, that being one of them, albeit we also have other content creators inside the FIFA uh, community who actually watch the thing live and they haven't got a copyright strike either. I think uh, there's definitely going to be a firm, especially when it comes to a guy who is so heavily controversial like Kurt. It definitely drives the question though, can these developers now strike you down for simply calling out and trying to correct their bad changes they have made in the in the game and what makes this so difficult is because Kurt can be so extreme if he's calling out personal names and revealing personal information, obviously this copyright strike or these strikes are well deserved, but I don't think that's the case. When more information comes out about what was presented in these videos, I will cover it here, but we cannot have a developer out there just simply because it's their game, it's their content, striking down content creators who speak out against them for doing things poorly. I mean, yes, it's in their right maybe to do so because they've gotten away with it, uh, but what do you guys think about this? Imagine Valve stepping in, imagine Activision stepping in, or other Others who, uh, who actually step in and strike down their content creators or their pro players who bash an update or bash a meta or bash whatever it might be for affecting the game, we'd have a real big issue if all of a sudden these big companies can do so just because it's their gameplay and it's their game. Kurt's now been copy copyright struck on at least two platforms, that being Twitch, that being YouTube. He still stands because he has not been banned or reached the limit of those strikes, but certainly I would say an ever impending issue with EA and how they've actually resolved a lot of the issues when it comes to FIFA have been certainly worrisome. What do you guys think about this? I know a lot of Call of Duty fans will not have remorse for this guy, but I do think, yet again, this is the second time I'll be defending Kurt against the big behemoth that is EA. Kurt himself is not an innocent man. He has certainly done some questionable things and will do so in the future, but this kind of thing is certainly debatable for EA. What do you guys think about this? Until next time, breaking down esports gaming news here every single day, all day long. Until next time, take care. I'll see you guys back here soon.